So it's, it's working. I'm working. Usually I don't need these kinds of things. So. <laughs> but it's, it's a tremendous honor to be sitting here with these amazing ladies. My um, career in service sort of started from having an early life that's the kind of story that you kind of read about every once in a while about somebody who uh, may not be headed in the right direction just because of life circumstances. So I don't have a career in service that led me through the police department or to public office. I actually have a career in service that is about helping people aspire to something beyond the circumstances that they're in. And that started because that's where I started. That's how my childhood is presented itself. I have amazing parents that have struggled. And I knew the first time I got help and was conscious of the fact that my family was receiving support, at that moment in my young life, I recognized that this is something that was going to be important to me. And then as I got older, I thought, okay, I'm going to do this in politics. I'm going to change the world through politics. No offense, girls. Turns out that wasn't for me. <laughs> right? It, just, it didn't work out. So um, I, I, I'm an idealistic person. And uh, a career in service for me really meant pursuing ways to help people get on their own two feet. And that way has been uh, a dream come true for me in the achievement of that life goal. I just want to, my colleagues are not, I think, suggesting that men are bad, uh, but I wanted to say a word in defense of men. Uh, I don't think that um, there's necessarily a negative perspective from men who are leading, but we also have to recognize, that, hey, you know what, these guys are doing what they've been doing for generations, right? They're operating inside of a comfort zone. They're operating from a perspective of tradition and from this is how it's always been done. And what we're operating oftentimes with is a set of uh, self-limiting beliefs. And when we recognize them for what they are, which is a belief that when we're in a male-dominated environment, we have to behave in a certain way, or we're going to be treated a certain way, well, then we walk in with a set of expectations that may or may not be true. So to support what Kathy was saying, we don't have to assimilate into a male-dominated male culture to be effective. What we have to decide is that that culture is not meaningful to us and it's not real to us because those are just beliefs. And we can challenge those beliefs by being two things. One is smart and the other is confident. So you can do those two things. You can challenge the conventional wisdom by just being smart and confident. And let that be their problem if they expect less from you. And uh, my perspective on balance is really, on, on a given day, you will be exceptional at one or two things. And what you have to do on that given day is decide what your priorities are and be exceptional at those priorities. So on a given day, my priorities for that day might be my children because their needs are immediate and because they are always the most important thing to me. And so whatever else has to suffer will suffer because that's what I'm doing that day. And on another day, uh, my career, and because of the nature of my career and how important it is, it has taken priority position, and so I will be the best executive I can be on that day because others deserve that for me. And that's my perspective on balance, because if you truly attempt to be someone who believes that you can do everything and do it all to 100% perfection, you will be the least effective person the most uh, annoying friend, the least, the least supported spouse, and a mom who suffers from guilt issues, right? And we have all, if you're, you know what I'm talking about, you have that feeling. I have a set of values that are about what I will do every day, and there are only three. And one of those, I'll share one of them with you. And sometimes I'm too busy to spend a whole lot of time with my kids, but I will make sure that the time I spend with them is quality. I look them the eye when they're talking to me, I answer their questions when they ask me them, I don't look at my smartphone, I'm with them. So that's, that's my recommendation, is to understand what your core values are as a human being, live to those values every day, identify your priorities, not only in life, but literally on a day-to-day -day basis. What are the things you're going to commit to to be as exceptional as you can be for that given day, and live to those things, and then give yourself a break.
Share it so that people can do that. 